Okay, guys. I'm trying this for the third time, and I hope this is going to work. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. This is my third attempt for my talk show Tuesday on IG Live, and I was getting frustrated earlier, and you guys witnessed that, but I'm going to calm it down. Because ain't no need to get frustrated, okay? We're going to work this out. Okay, Raleigh, bye. Thank you. I'm going to try this, okay? Perfect. Bye. All right, so I'm going to try one more time. Maybe this is just meant to be. Maybe. Um, so far, I was able to click on the people, so that's a positive. Now, if Lauren sends me her request, then I'll get my girl on board. Okay, let me see, try now, Lauren, okay, 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 all right, let me see this, guys, if this works. It was like waiting for her, and then it says unable to join. I don't know what's going on. This is terrible. This is really terrible. Let me just check some news. How about this be one of our topics today for Talk Show Tuesday is unable what, unable to join. I need to call someone at Instagram because they got to help me here. Unable to join um, IG live. Okay, let's see why this happens. If the viewer doesn't have the ability to use two-person video, instead of their account name, it will read unable to join. Choose your guest from the list of viewers who are able to join your live video. Tap the person you wish to bring on your live broadcast from the list. If the viewer doesn't have the ability to use two-person video, instead of their account name. So maybe there's something wrong with Lauren's thing. Okay, guys, I think we might have. It says. There's something wrong with Lauren's account. That's what I'm thinking is going on, guys. Right? So, Lauren. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it's so weird. All right, well, you know what, guys? That was a, an attempt today with me and Lauren, and I'm really frustrated and sad about it because we have good conversations. She's my publicist, but we are really, 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 really good friends, um, close friends. And so when we talk, the conversations get fun. So I'm going to keep my talk show Tuesday going. So I was talking earlier. I, talked, I had already started off by talking about Tiger King um, on Netflix is saying that it's the most popular show in streaming right now. Um, I have been one of those people that have made it popular because I am one of the viewers, just like everybody else out there that is making it uh, popular. But as I was saying earlier, there's something fishy going on um, between, I think Carol King, she's just a whole bag of like, hmm, I don't know, something. Carol King, uh, not her not knowing where her ex-husband, um, not the way she was speaking about her ex-husband when he supposedly went missing uh, in the interview, she didn't really seem that sympathetic. She just kind of felt like, you know, like, I don't know, just a little sketchy. Um, Doc and also um, Joey Exotic. Joey Exotic is like straight up entertainment. So I haven't seen the big juice that's our, that everyone's been talking about over, um, regarding him. So I'm going to get to that. So don't, don't blow it. Don't give it away. But I can't wait to get to that. But in other news, something really fun. Um, is level up is the number one trending hashtag on TikTok, or at least that was yesterday. And it's where people can create obstacle courses for their pets, which I've been posting some of those videos. I think you guys have seen those. Um, and then also yesterday I reposted the video from um, uh, the, the nurses. I think it's called TJ Pool Hall. Um, let me check here, the name of the group. The nurses, the doctors and the nurses of and I want to get it correct because they have a unique system where they get, it says the nurses of float and per diem. It's for the nurses and doctors at Jefferson hospital. And they basically, if I'm not mistaken, mistaken, they get paid per diem for their compensation. They kind of volunteer and they rotate. 
um, in the program. And that was pretty amazing seeing them all jam dance and jam out to level up. And it was kind of inspiring and touching and um, just everything all at once, just to see them out there knowing that they're sacrificing every day, um, whether it's time with their family, whether it's their own health, um, putting them on their own selves at risk um, to go in there and take care of people during this tough time. Um, it's pretty amazing um, to see uh, people like that of our world, the, the, the nurse in the darks of our world, you know, in work mode. And um, it's we're really grateful for each and every one of you. I know I posted that before and I've tweeted about it. But seriously, we couldn't do this without you. Um, you know, I, I think we all know it. it's like when we have a simple symptom of anything and we're sick and to know we have the, doc the, the doctors and nurses of our world to be a safe place. Um, it is the most comforting thing. And so this time they're overwhelmed. Um, uh, many of them are overwhelmed. Many of them are probably also a little scared when they're going to work. Um, so, but so it brought me so much joy when I saw um, the doctors and nurses dancing to level up and um, finding a moment to like take a, have a breath of fresh air and, and still be able to smile through it all and still be able to dance through it all. And I think that's the one thing that I've kind of learned about, you know, with what I do is a power of dance. It's one of the most common universal languages that connect us all. And so um, it's very powerful um, to see that and to see that tick, that level up was the number one trending topic on TikTok um, or trending hashtag on TikTok was really cool. And the puppy and dog videos are really cute. Um, the puppy, the dogs, um, the cat videos, um, seeing all of the, the, everyone do the level up challenges with their pets is pretty cool. I'm gonna try one of those in my Great Danes and Tyson probably can only jump over like one level. So we're not gonna even like play with that because Tyson's now 14 years old for those of you guys that know that I have my multi poo um he's 14 years old and um he's been with me for all of his life and he is I don't think Tyson can hear anymore to tell you the truth um when I call him he's not seeming like he's responding to that um he still can see thank god he's not running into stuff but it's kind of like my baby my pa my puppy's getting old but anyways um, I'm gonna we're gonna possibly try um uh, the level up challenge with our Great Danes, and we'll see how that goes. And I'll post that whenever we get to get that done. Um, but as I told you guys, it's Talk Show Tuesday. Um, so the first topic we talked about is Tiger King on Netflix, Level Up um, being one of the um, being the number one trending hashtag on TikTok. Please keep it going. I look look forward to seeing more videos and seeing everybody just jam out and um, find ways to stay joyful during this time. And again, what better platform than music? Um, you know, or, or a platform with music and a, music is kind of a safe place for us all. Um, then also it says here, okay, famous artists, producers, songwriters have begun to host beat song battles on Instagram live and take, and have taken their followers on a trip down memory lane. Um, obviously I, to my understanding, Timberland and Swiss beats kind of had the first start of it. Um, we've seen, um, what battles have we seen out there? I know T-Pain Lil John went on the other night. Um, Jonte Austin and Neo um, went on as well. By the way, love Jonte. Jonte is like, uh, first of all, let me just go backwards. T Pain, I've had the, I've had the fortune, I've had a, the, a fortunate enough opportunity to work with artists like T Pain um, and Lil John. Um, obviously, Lil John, I will forever be grateful for him because he produced my first number one song, Goodies, um, which was number one for like eight weeks long, I think it was in the billboard charts. And that was a pretty historic, historical moment for me and how you guys met me. Um, so that was almost 16 years ago. And it's so cool to still hear how people love it and dance to it. And I see all the videos that people make to it. But all that being said, both of them are amazing. I think people really enjoyed that battle. Um, I did. I got to see a little bit of it. Uh, I didn't get to see Swiss Beats and Timberlands. Love them. They're phenomenal. Um, I don't know about anybody else who got to see it, but I, uh, I know it was pretty amazing. Um, who else is that? Let me see. Oh, yeah, The Dream and Sean Garrett. Um, got to work with those guys as well. You guys know The Dream produced um, Ride and pretty much wrote, you know, that record. I got to write a little bit with him, but very little on that one. And then on Goodies, I actually wrote a great bit of that record um, with Sean. Sean, um, that was kind of like my – I was very vocal when I was – um, at that age, like, this is what I want to say. My comparison for goodies was kind of like the cookie jar. Um, you know, like, who put their hands in the cookie jar? Who, me, yes, you, couldn't be, then who? Like, you know, my goodies, like, you know, 
that was my my goody jar basically um and so i actually had a good time writing that song started out with sean in miami and then i kind of just rode my car for a long time and like went line by line on that goodies record especially the hook to like make it you know every make it be as perfect as it could as it could be um but anyways uh, it's not really about me. This is really about all the battles. But the cool thing is I got to work with like pretty much all those guys. Only person I have I've never worked with was is Swiss Beats um, and Timberland. I'm, did I work with Timberland? I've never worked with Timberland and Swiss Beats and two producers I would love to work with one day. Um, but those battles have been have been amazing. I think the, it's good for the culture. We're all enjoying it. So that's been fun here. Um, Drake Tussy Slide video. I'm sure everybody else saw that. I love that video. I actually think I might join in on the fun of doing my own Tusi Slide, Tusi Slide video. Um, what else do we have going on out here in the world? So tonight, something fun. April's pink moon is the biggest super moon of 2020. That is right. So it says here, April's pink moon says, if you've been stargazing as, a, as part of your at-home activities since the pandemic began, prepare to see the biggest and brightest supermoon of the year Tuesday night. So tonight, the pink moon is happening. It says supermoons occur when the moon is within 90% of perigee, which is its closest approach to Earth in orbit. I hope I'm saying that right, perigee. Um, the moon will appear brighter and bigger in the night sky, and hopefully no clouds and inclement weather will obscure the view. Okay, let's see here. April's full moon, also known as the pink moon, happens to be the closest of the year. People around the world should be able to see the super moon at its best around 10.35 p.m. Eastern to midnight on Tuesday night and even into the early morning hours of Wednesday. So the pink moon happens tonight, 10.35 p.m. It's the biggest super moon of 2020. 20, 10.35 p.m. Eastern, so 7.35 p.m. PST for all of us West Coasters. Let's see the pink moon. That's another kind of like bright moment that happens in this, that's going to happen in this world right now um, during all this, during this tough time we're all going through. Um, so I look forward to that. Okay, here we go. What else do we have? Let me see. Cannot wait. I love the planets. Thank you, honestly. Didn't know that. Look at all this. Okay, good. See, we're learning some stuff. Learning some stuff here. Sierra, when are you releasing your music? Of course, we have time for all that because right now, we're just trying to keep our head above water. Um, all right. So the next thing here we have is Wimbledon is canceled for the first time since World War II. It's crazy. It's crazy, guys. There's so much happening right now. Um, all right. Despite many cancellations, NFL draft will go on as scheduled. So they're going to be doing a virtual um, viewing for the NFL draft, I guess, or so they'll be selecting virtually. Um, what else has happened here? That actually happened last week. And then I have a few more fun things that I'm going to throw out here. Okay, I have one that I haven't been able to read on that much, but I think that this is pretty um, sad and unfortunate. This headline definitely makes me want to read into it more, um, but it says, a new COVID-19 crisis domestic abuse rises worldwide so again this is my first time reading this so i have no idea what i'm about to read but the headline alone definitely makes me uh pause and it makes me want to read more and it's very sad to see this headline um add another public health crisis to the toll of the new coronavirus mounting data suggests that domestic abuse is acting like an opportunistic infection flourishing in the conditions created by the pandemic <clears throat> there was a there was every reason to believe that the restrictions imposed to keep the virus from spreading would have such an effect um, said Miriam Hester a Bristol University psychologist who studies abusive relationships domestic violence goes up whenever families spend more time together such as Christmas and summer vacations she said now with families in lockdown worldwide hotlines are lighting up with abuse reports even governments trying to address a crisis that experts say they should have been they should have seen coming. So this is um, very 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 sad to hear. Um, you know, I think my biggest thing to any person experiencing anything like that, please, um, you know, dig dig deep down within your within yourself to find the courage 
in any way that you can to ask for help, you know, um, you know, I, I think that it's so crazy. It's just kind of like, sometimes we can't see the power that we really hold within ourselves. And it's just simply having the courage or, or, or knowing that the courage is within us. Cause sometimes I don't think we even have the courage or have the strength to, um, to speak up and to, you know, not be afraid to ask for help. And it's so sad because these are things that we don't think about in the midst of us all going through um, COVID is the other things like this, you know, the domestic abuse piece of it all and things like that. I didn't even think, I never would have thought about that until I saw this article. So that this is still happening. Things like this are, are happening at a greater level is what I meant to say. Not that it's still happening, but that it's happening at a greater level um, at a time like this. And some people feel like they have nowhere to go. Um, so um, I want to encourage those if you're watching, you know, don't be afraid to take that step. You know, I'm, I know there's someone out there that's going to help you. Um, and they have the hotlines to do that, um, which I actually, the next time we talk, I definitely want to make sure I get more information. Now that I know this, it makes me want to learn more about it. Um, but don't be afraid to speak out and reach out. You know, I, I think most of us in this world, you know, that uh, most of us in this world want to find a way to help people like that. So if you guys suspect anything is happening with your friends or, or your family members, anyone, like, don't be afraid to reach out to them as well and um, give them a safe place to go to. Um, this has to stop. It's so sad that this is happening. Really sad. Um, and then, um, and then so, and then, you know, speaking of this on the other side, it says that love, <clears throat> hashtag love is the number one trending hashtag on IG. How about that? Um, I think right now love is truly the way, right? Truly the way that we can get through this tough time. And um, again, I really believe we will get through this way, but if we can leave with love, um, even when we're in the house with all of our loved ones, it gets crazy. Not every moment is perfect. Um, I think sometimes we will all drive each other crazy in this moment um, because it's like walking in these four walls with the same people every day. I love them with all my heart, but this is like cyclical. I'm going to go crazy. Um, but if we can leave with love um, in this time, you know, I think that we will um, truly prevail and I think we'll, we'll come out better on the other side of this. I think we'll learn a lot more about ourselves. And, um, you know, I think we really will come out stronger. But if we could lead with love, love is the way. Um, and I want to encourage everyone to do that. Okay, unfortunately, my time went kind of crazy today. So I'm so sorry for my janky uh, talk show Tuesdays because I really wanted to get it started with my publicist, Lauren, because me and her have good chats. But um, to those of you guys that just tuned in, um, you know, again, talk show Tuesday is what I'm going to start doing. And I want to talk about all the current events in the world. And I promise you guys next week will be a better week for my flow. But I think it's always fun to talk about current events and kind of see what's happening in the world and us all being able to be educated about things together, I think is really important. Um, and us all um, staying um, connected as best as we can during this time. So I love you guys. And I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Unfortunately, I have a conference call that I have to get on. Um, Again, excuse me, I feel like I'm working more than, I don't know, it's just weird. It's like working from home, the new norm. Um, but I want to encourage all you guys out there to stay home. Um, staying home is really, really necessary. I know it's hard to, but the curve is flattening according to the reports. Another cool note for Talk Show Tuesday um, that us staying in is really actually making a difference. I know Andrew, um, Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York, spoke about that as well. So it's really happening. So I want to encourage you guys to hang in there. Um, stay home, encourage your friends to stay home. Um, and I love you guys. And I can't wait to see you again. And we'll have a better talk show Tuesday next week. Um, but CC loves you all. And thank you for whoever tuned in for this Women's Wednesday tomorrow. Something really fun is happening on Women's Wednesday. Wednesday's tomorrow. It's going to be really cool. Um, conversations. Again, it's going to be a day geared towards us women. Fellas are welcome to talk um, as well. <clears throat> It's always cool to hear a man's perspective on things. Um, and I think vice versa. It's always good for a man to hear a woman's perspective on things. So love you guys. Have a good day. Stay safe. Stay home. See you all tomorrow. Talk show Tuesday. Peace.